Good Friday evening. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your weekend. We are in a brand new book, 1 Corinthians. No, actually, 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And I have a question to ask you before we get into the passage. Are you going through a deep trial, something really troubling or pressing you? I can say that my son was going through something five years ago around this time, the first week of March, and God really blessed him five years later. But uh, can you just give us a you know, glimpse of, as a 12-year-old, what were you going through? Uh, I wasn't doing well in school. Mm -hmm. My behavior was horrible. We can't, we can't. I don't know, I was behaving very badly. And, um, mm -hmm. He was behaving very badly, yeah. wasn't doing well in school, seventh grade, go yeah, ahead. Basically, um, it was so bad that... That I could no longer attend the school, and now five years later, I'm about to be a recipient of a full ride scholarship. So, oh, hallelujah! You know, like you know, God changes things, and it was only Him because I couldn't have done it on my own. I would have, I don't know what I would have done if 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 I ain't uh, humble myself. If he didn't humble himself and listen to the Lord, he doesn't know where he would have been. So God turn that whole situation for his glory. And this has something to do with the first verse of 2 Corinthians, where it says, grace or praise be to you and peace from God, our father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulations. You know, as a mother going through, woo. God showered his comfort Ooh. on me because I was I was going through so much of uh, being a single mother. How did the Lord comfort you during that time, son? Or in the yeah, during that time cuz that, that was a rough time for us. It took me a while to It took you a while to what? Speak to I don't think um, they could hear you. Go ahead. To acknowledge the Lord. So Took you a while to acknowledge the Lord. Yeah. And then when I started to, then he comforted me. When he started, then he he comforted. He was he was um true to his word. Amen. And the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. So the trials that he has put on us, my goodness, he made it so that we could learn from it and then we could horizontally be a blessing to others. But guess what? The prerequisite a lot of times is that we have to suffer, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're able to minister to the world. And in verse nine, in verse nine, it's talking about not trusting in ourselves, right? But in God, which raised the dead. And we just learned how, I know that really pushed me to the point where all I had was God. And, and that's when I got the closest to the Lord. When I, really pressed on toward his will, trusted him, and he revealed himself. And in verse 17, Paul talks about how he didn't make plans lightly. And this is a time right now, this is a time right now where we can't, and my son cannot be, be very, um, just, you know, lighthearted or, or not lighthearted, but just careless about making plans. But we have to pray and acknowledge God in every detail with his future. And God has made it so that, you know, he's about to go to college, Lord willing, and, um, you know, getting a scholarship. Thank the Lord. So we thank God for his mercy and his grace, but it's only the Lord and his gifts. But it's not that it's of our own goodness. And it's certainly not the goodness of our son because we don't do anything, but it's only uh, God. And the last verse is, for all the promises of God in him are yea and amen, the glory of God by us. So when God says something, when God promises something to his people, even though we have to go through deep waters, great storms, know that God is going to shower us, but we have to go through the tunnel and know that it's going to be a rich reward afterwards. What do you have to say about that as far as promises? Well, what do you have to say about that, son? His promises are true. His promises are true. And just hold on 
because he's going to get the glory and it's going to bless us and so many others. We hope you have a wonderful evening and uh, enjoy God's blessings.